what's going on guys prodigy here and i'm uh today gonna bring you a another class tier list right i did one a couple weeks ago that was on the 1vx capabilities of the classes all right this one is specifically <laughs> look at that i'm stuck in the undo i hate that anyway this one is specifically focused for new players right which classes rank the best for new players and the worst for new players uh meaning easy for them to get into or hard for them to get into and get good at like being a new player right so that's what we're going to do today i'm going to bring you that class tier list also i also just want to thank you guys for supporting me this far you guys are freaking the mvps all right and it and i do this all for my phone because i don't have a computer so it's extremely more difficult for me to do this than the average youtuber but i'm doing it because i want to bring you guys content all right guys I, I just, you're my family, and we're going to do this, and we're going to love it, all right? And like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep my channel going, and you can get my content first hand. Let's go! So here it is, bare bones tier list, ready to be filled in. And like I said, it's not going to be your normal tier list video where you see them drag and drop. I, I had to edit it all and do it on a website, and it was a pain, because like I said, I'm on my phone. But we did it, guys. Once again, this is all my opinion based, so it's not factual. Um, however, I will be trying to go in as much detail as possible why they're the best and why they're not the best for new players. And there's only three categories you can see. The easiest, sort of easy, and the hardest, okay? First up is the Mag DK, which I put in C, which would be the hardest to get used to, which I believe it to be true. Um, it's a very hard class to understand and get down. Really not, uh new user friendly um it's a dot build so you gotta be patient apply your dots um it can be tanky and have good heals but you gotta know how to set it up it's just the toolkit's kind of confusing and like the burst is kind of confusing so for new players i wouldn't recommend this um it does have a high sk uh, skill ceiling though so once you do get good at it you get really good so next we have the mag sork oh and you look at that yeah, my editing skills made it look like I drag and dropped it, but I really didn't. It's all editing. Anyway, Mag Sork, guys. Magical Sorcerer. <clears throat> this one, I believe, is one of the easiest classes to get used to for new players. Although it does have a high uh, skill ceiling, so when you do get really good at it, you get, like, really good. But it's just easy burst. Um, if you pve a lot, it's sort of the same burst to, to get down. The damage shields make it super tanky. You just have to spec into Magicka, and you have damage, tank, sustain, everything. And you get to sit back and pelt people from afar. I mean, it's like a new player's dream. You know what I mean? Like, just, you don't have to be in danger. You can just beat them down from afar. Next up, Magical Templar. I also put in the A slot. Very easy to use. Good for new players. Um, the burst is simple. Does a lot of area damage. Uh, you can build really tanky on it. It has really good heals. And it's also another one that if you transition from PvE, that it's still going to... It's not too different to learn how to PvP with it. It's really not. Very easy class to get used to. The heals are just outstanding, right? And the, the jabs, I mean, who doesn't like jabs? Jabs just freaking wreck people. So yeah, Magicka Templar, very good for new players. Very easy to learn. Next up is the Stamblade. I put in the B category, uh, which means it's, you know... It is kind of easy to get used to, then again, parts of it are kind of not so easy. Um, and I had a debate myself on this one. I wanted to put it in C, but I just believe it goes in the B because, yes, it's a hard class to get down, but it does do a lot of damage, a lot of crit damage, and you can go invisible and teleport. So, like, being a new player, that's just... it. It's just so easy to play. Like, believe me, it's, it's real easy to play. Hard to master, but easy to play. Next up, Mag Blade, the opposite of Stand Blade, Magicka Night Blade. I put that in the C category, meaning it's hard to learn, and I believe it is. Um, confusing toolkit. Yes, you have invisibility and shade, but it's hard to learn the burst. Um, the heals aren't that great on it. You're not tanky. It. I just believe it's not new user friendly. All right, it's it's just really not. All right, next the Stamina Necromancer. I put that in the A category because, yes, it is very easy to learn. Very simple burst. Very good survivability. Very good sustain. It's all built into the class. Like, <laughs> you have free damage mitigation, free sustain. Uh, you, you could just be so tanky with good heals. And, like I said, the burst is so simple. Blast Bones, D-Swing, right? Dawnbreaker. Like, it's just 
easy class to learn and get used to and try to build your confidence up to play at other classes. All right, next one, Magical Necromancer. Now, guys, I'm not talking about Dark Convergence, so don't even, like, when I'm talking about this class, it's not to be, include Dark Convergence, all right? This class is a B because, yes, it has all the same, has a better heal and all the same tankiness as a Stamp Crow, but the burst is a little bit hard to get down and, like, master, right? And it and, and, and magic doesn't hit hard as stamp, so that's why I put it in the B category, all right? Uh, that's where I think it fits good for new players. It's sort of all right. Next is the Mag Warden, Magical Warden. Warden, in general, is an easy class to learn, right? It's uh, It can be very tanky, has outstanding heals, um, and the burst is simple. But for the Mag Warden, it's kind of a little bit more difficult to understand the burst and get the right weapons to do the right burst. So that's why I put it in the B category. Um... It's still very easy to learn and play, but you're not going to be as effective as you would be on a stand warden being a new player, right? It's not as easy to learn. Which brings me to the next one, Stamina Warden. Guys, this is one of the easiest classes in the game to learn, play, and understand. Simple burst, right? Super tanky, super good heals, you're fast. It's everything you can want in a PvP character without wearing any crazy sets. Like, you can literally wear almost anything on a Stamina Warden and still have 35k health and do, like, crap load of damage, all right? If you're a new player, Stamina Warden is probably the way to go. And and their freaking burst heal freezes people. Like, what? So easy. All right, moving on. The Stamina DK, Stamina Dragonite. That goes in the B category, I believe. It is a very easy class to understand. Um, but I just feel like... It's a dot build, right? Just like the Mag DK. So you have to be patient. You have to build tanky, and you you just you have to kind of know a little bit about the game to really be effective as a Stam DK. So although it is easy to learn, has it you know survivability, tankiness, good damage. I just believe it does go in the B category because it is just a little hard to understand for new players. Next up, Stamina Templar guys. This one um, has almost everything the Magicka Templar does, which is why it goes in the B, B category. Although, it doesn't have as good as heals. As good of heals. So, that's why it's not as friendly for new players. Um, it does can put out more damage, but it's a little bit harder to understand than the Magicka Templar. All right? You need to have a little bit of experience to do good on a Stamplar. Like I said, it doesn't have as good of healing. So, <clears throat> the Magplar definitely is a better option for new players. Now for our final class, last but not least, the Stamina Sorcerer, guys. This one I put in the C category, meaning it's hard to learn for new players, and it's true. It's almost completely opposite to the Magicka Sorcerer, guys. It does do a lot of damage, but it's hard to survive. You have to really kite around, move around. You have to you have to be an experienced PvPer to be good at a Stamina Sorcerer. Like, Trust me, take my word for it, all right? It's not as easy as the magic, magic of Sorcerer where you can just sit far away and pelt them down. You have to get up close in someone's face, survive, and burst them down. But that is the end, guys. So I'm about to wrap it up here for you guys. I hope you enjoyed my tier list for new players. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree and why or why not. Um, like I said before, guys, love you guys for supporting me. Let's keep this dream going. Peace out till next time.